Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, uh, still on our industrial electronics and three uh, working on our revisions on the Kirchhoff's laws. Uh, this is uh, a follow up on our DC theory that we have been talking about. And uh, we just want to see how these uh, currents are being taken and so forth. So this is uh, a March 2016 paper that we're going to focus on. So given there to study, uh, fig one below. Uh, and determine with the aid of Kirchhoff's laws, the equation of loop one, loop two, and also to determine the magnitude of the currents and so forth. All right, so this is what we have here. That's our diagram. So if you are to check uh, just an analysis of what we see here, we have got uh, a voltage source, which is of four volts, which is the supply uh, at the external part here. So this is our positive, uh, negative, so as you can see, the current is gonna flow in this direction, all right, to this direction. Then it branches another one, it's gonna flow here and flows here. So here we are given this current as 0, 0,2 and this one we are given as one, uh, current one minus 0, 0,2, it branches here. It gives us, uh, that is our current two according to our diagram. Then this will be current one minus current two minus. So we are also given uh, everything. So there's no need for you to worry for this syllabus of uh, entry. Uh, you'll be given the directions and of the currents and also you'll be given the current. So for you, there's nothing for you to worry. Okay, so let us consider the loop one. Okay, so we've got the loop one there. That is uh, 2.11. So we are given uh, loop one, which is given uh, as A, B, C, A. So that is uh, from A. Uh, B, C, E, F, A. So that was the loop that we are given, all right? So if you had to consider this loop here from A to B, uh, to C to E back to A, we are moving this direction. This is how we're gonna uh, move. So if we consider that we are going to see that, uh, remember the sum of the voltage drops that we're gonna have must be equal to the voltage source that we have. Uh, we've got a voltage source, which is the supply. And according to this, we are moving in the same direction of our voltage supply uh, from the positive to negative. We are maintaining the direction in our movement of the current that we have going to the positive. So this voltage is going to be taken as a positive. Take note about that. We had a question uh, that we saw uh, that we worked on April 2015 and also uh, that one of November 2014, where we had got to work with the negative, but this one, it's maintaining the positive. So it, the voltage is going to be taken as a positive. So four is equal to, we have got the voltage drop. We do not have uh, along this point E, F, uh, A, and so on here. We do not have anything across this loop here. So that's this current one is going to be multiplied to zero. We do not have uh, a resistance that is affecting. But if we move from B here to C, we can see that we are maintaining also the arrow of the direction of the current. We are going the same direction as our loop, right? From B to C, we are maintaining that. So that is gonna be a positive. So we have got uh, current times the resistance. So we've got a resistance there of five ohms. So that is going to be five. All right, we've got a resistance there of five ohms. So we're gonna be a five times the current affecting here, which is the current I1 minus uh, 0, 0,2 like this, All right? That's from B to C. Then we move from C to E, right? From C to E, we are moving in the same direction again of the current flow. So it's going to be a positive. So that's positive. Uh, our resistance times current or current times resistance is gonna be 40 times I2. So that's 40 times I2. So as you can see, we are maintaining the direction of the arrow. So that would be a positive. So this was going to be our equation. Remember we talked about from E to F, to A to B, we say it is the same current flowing, which is I1. And there we do not have a resistance. So it's gonna be I1 times zero. So we already mentioned about this part, we just have to write these equations in simplest form. So that's a zero there, uh, any number times zero. So you can expand five times I1, which is uh, five I1, five times minus 0, 0,2, that's negative one. 
uh, plus 40i2 like this. So you can transpose this to the other side so that it becomes a positive. So that's five is equal to four plus one, it's gonna be a five, is equal to five i1 plus uh, 40 i2. So as you can see, what we have on the right-hand side is equal to what we have on the left-hand side. So you can just write it as five i1 in this case plus uh, 40 i2 is equal to five. All right, so that is gonna be our equation. So like I always say, this equation, you can even reduce it to write it in the favor of what you understand. So you can even reduce this by, by five, which is the highest common factor here. So if you divide by five, each and every term by five here, we're gonna have I1 plus 40 divided by five, which is going to be eight. I2 is equal to five divided by five, which is gonna be a one. So you can even write this equation, right? Which is fine. Uh, let, let us check the other part, which is loop two uh, from 2.12, which is C, D, E, C. All right, so that's our loop two in this case. So the loop two, uh, let us just write it aside. So that's 2.12. So you're gonna consider uh, the loop two, which is given uh, by from the point C to point D to point E, then back to point C. Let us check where is that loop, which is starting C to D to E to D. All right, we've got C to E uh, to D and back to C and back to C, not back to D here, it says C there now. All right, I see that this does not make sense. All right, so this is the loop that you're gonna consider here. Uh, C, D, E like this. You're gonna have it C to D like this, uh, going this way. So this is the direction that you're gonna consider. So let us check what is happening there. If you consider, we do not have a voltage source here, supply voltage, so we're just gonna have it as a zero. The voltage drop there, we are going to take it as a zero. So zero is equal to, uh, from point C to point D, we've got the same current flowing here, the same current flowing, right? So there we are going to have, uh, and also we are maintaining the direction of the loop C, D. So we're maintaining that. So it's going to be a positive. So it's just going to have this resistance of five times the current that we are given there. So the current that we have there is I1 minus I2, right? So that's I1 minus I2 minus uh, 0, 0,2. We just have to take this as it is, all right? That's our current. Uh, then we move on, uh, D from D to E, there's nothing there, all right? We do not have a resistance. Yes, you can have your currents, but there's no resistance. So it's a waste of time for you to calculate those currents uh, because you do not have a resistance. Remember, uh, if you have a zero, then it's gonna be a zero. So we are going to move from E to C, all right? Back to C, all right? So if we move, from E to C, as you can see this time, we are opposing the direction of current. The current is going down and as we are going up, this is the direction of the loop. The loop is going up. So it's opposing how the current is flowing. So it is going to be a negative there. So we are going to have a negative, all right? So we're gonna have a negative. Then we've got the product of current and resistance, which is 40 times two, 40 times I2, that's it, having a negative. So that's our equation. We can simplify uh, this equation in a way that we want uh, to the simplest form. So that's zero is equal to five times I1, which is five I1, five times minus I2, which is five I2, uh, five times negative 0, 0,2, that's negative one, minus 40 I2. Then you can collect uh, the like terms. You can even transpose the one to the other side so that it becomes a positive one there. So five, a one is going to be equal to, uh, all right, we just have one I1 there. So it's just gonna remain as it is five I1, then I2, there are two of them. We've got this one and with this one. So we are going to combine uh, these two. So if we combine negative five, uh, negative 40 there is going to be negative uh, 45, all right? so we are going to end up with a negative uh, 45 I2, which is we can just write from our right-hand side that is uh, 5 I1 minus uh, 45 I2 is equal to one. All right, so that is going to be the equation that you're gonna formulate from this loop. Then from there, 
we are asked now to find the magnitude of the currents I1 and I2. So we are now solving the equations that we have from these two uh, loops, uh, loop one and loop two. So you just use those uh, loops that you're given, then you can solve your equations. Uh, that is it. All right, so uh, from the loop one, we remember we can, like I said, we can write this in a simplest form like that. All right, so I'm just gonna use or make I1 to be the subject. If I transpose I2 to the other side of the equation, it means I1 is going to be given as one minus eight I2. Then it's easier to work it that way because of the type of equation that I'm having. I1 can be just the subject there. So if I have this I1 uh, as my equation, I'm going to substitute in this equation in place of I1. So in place of I1, we are going to substitute this part that we have now, which is going to be uh, five into I1, which is given as one minus eight I2. So it's gonna be one minus eight I2. All right, but then we've got negative 45 there, negative 45 I2 is equal to one. So meaning to say we have got, uh, we are, oh, we are left with I2. So you can solve this equation for I2 if we just expand our brackets, collect like terms, that's gonna be five times one, which is five. Five times negative eight, that will be negative 40 I2. Uh, negative 45 I2 is equal to one. So that's, you can collect your terms in this case. All right, we've got this part and this part, which is gonna give us uh, negative 85. So you're gonna have negative 85 I2. And if we transpose five to the other side there, it is going to be a negative five on this side. So that means we can subtract there one minus five, which is going to give us a negative four. So that's it. Uh, let us find I2 by just dividing uh, by negative 85 both sides by negative 85 both sides. This is going to give us our current two. So negative, negative is going to be a positive. So if you write this as a fraction, it was gonna give us four over 85. It cannot be simplified further, uh, but as a decimal, that will be 0 0.047, all right? To three decimal places, gonna have this as uh, 0 0.047 amps. Remember, this is current that we are calculating. So it's going to be in amps, all right? So that's it. We can calculate our I1 from this equation. We have I1 as the subject. So you can just substitute I2, or you can substitute in any of the equations that you want, but already, we can see that here I1 is the subject since we are given that I1 is equal to uh, one minus eight I2. If you were working with a fraction, then it's gonna be eight into I2, which is uh, four over 85, all right? That is if you're working with a fraction and the answer uh, for I1 is going to be also a fraction, but that one was gonna give us a decimal. It was going to be something like a 0 0.62, Three, five, two, something like that. All right, you can just substitute this current as it is here, which is one and the same thing. So that will be 0, 0.624 amps. All right, so we've got uh, uh, the value of our current one in this case. Uh, all right, so these were the currents that we're being asked to solve. It was just to solve the currents. Uh, all right, so sometimes they can even give us this loop here. I think to say, you must be able to play around the loop that you're given depending with the direction of the loop also that you are given. So that is the most important part. You are supposed to work with the loop and also consider its direction, uh, uh, which is the direction of currents. The way that you are given the direction of currents is very, very important as it affects your currents and also it affects your voltages. So those are the typical questions that you might be given.